My name is Xavier, and welcome to not a smash and grab, but instead a data tap. Uh, I realized, first of all, that I was gonna probably lose the campaign if I got anyone wounded on that smash and grab, so I aborted it. Uh, and secondly, I realized I do want to do this data tap because Western US is a very useful region and I have such an amazing squad now, I think I can handle it. So we pulled in Disco Caddy, or we had the boys here with Disco Caddy, I have Mitch with an incredible, or Vingtoneer's gun. Uh, Max, actually I wanted to give that new item to, what was it, Personal Combat Sims, a Smart to Macrophages, that's the one we hacked with Wade Anthony, let's see if it comes into use in this mission. And then Book of Eons I gave an acid grenade to, and we also have Shelbs here, and the new Ian who just got done training center mass, and I gave him some AP ammo, so he should be a murdering machine with uh, Hunter's Instinct. Anyway, we're gonna go off, we're gonna kill up to 18 enemies, I hope, and I really hope I can move more than one tile this time. Here we go. Very cinematic. And now then, let's see if I can- Nope! Immediate activations and it's a berserker! And a bunch of snipey snakes and an M2 mech. Okay. Well, this is already off to a good start. Hey, it's an Inza raid. What do you know? Uh, also, we're way over here. Now, let's see, let's see what I can do. Let's, uh, slow-mo 1.2. And let's go check out the relay. So here's the relay. Here's our civilians. Also, here's our scientist. At least they're not on Overwatch, so I can probably run the scientist away. Who do I have for rebels? Bernard Bernadette Bernard! Uh, she's got a laser rifle. We have Audrey Leroy with a mag rifle. Uh, Carrie Gibson with a mag rifle, and we have Toby Taylor with a laser rifle. Okay, not bad. We do have some weapons, but there's no way in hell any of these guys can kill any of these things. So, really my only option is to run away. So they're over there, and the squad's over here. Uh, I'm gonna guess that coming up to the right is gonna be what I need to do. Let's bring the only person who has concealment, Ian. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to start out by coming up here to the left. Usually when I do this, I immediately spot a pod to the left. Surprisingly, I actually don't. So this time, let's come right up to the middle here in the street. Do we see anything to the right? Yes, we do. Of course. One, two, three, four things. That's eight out of, I think it was, uh, up to 18. So... Do we want to activate that stuff right now, is the question. I mean, I could come up here with Disco Caddy, although they'd see me if I... Actually, would they? Yeah, I think they would. I could come over here with Disco Caddy. And we could activate by shooting one of them in the head. That could be fun. Would we see anything else over here, though, and activate stuff? Maybe. Is there something right here behind us? Possibly. Every time I've played this, has been like a pod here and a pod there. Maybe even two pods. So none of these things feel safe to me. But at the same time, don't we have to kill these guys? I mean, they're standing out there. In the open, like doofuses. Why don't we just go murder them? Who is the best odds of killing someone? <gasps> Book of Eons. Book of Eons. No. Uh, I guess we're just gonna move Mitch up. Whatever, here we go, Mitch, get up there, activate that pod. Or... Don't, somehow. I could have sworn it said I would have line of sight. Okay, well with this in mind, I guess we won't activate, we'll just get everyone up and stand still for some inevitable overwatches. Okay. Oh, now they want me to go control those guys. I want to try to remember not to overwatch right away, like I have in the past, because that would be pretty stupid. Up we go with Disco Gaddy, you know what? Let's, uh, I could command Disco Caddy. Nah, who cares? Steady aim. I'm really worried now that if I move anywhere, I'm gonna activate more stuff. So... On the move. That, that literally felt like I activated, but I didn't. Very good. I guess Killjoy here. And a Book of Eons there. We're good to Overwatch all now. A tricked! We're actually gonna come over here and see what I can do with these guys. So... Definitely one thing I want to do is run the hell away. Like, just screw everything. Let's go upstairs where they have l very little chance of finding me. 
Hopefully we don't activate anything. Toby Taylor, up the ladder. Very good. Okay, you see nothing. God, is it gonna really make me go back and forth every single time manually? Let's do the same exact deal now with... Actually, Aubrey can't make it anywhere or whatever. Let's just stick her here out of line of sight. Nope, no camera, no. Everyone up the stairs here. Perfect. And... It looks like we're actually running out of places we can go, so we're just gonna have to like... I need to get away from the Berserker though, so I guess we're uh, we're just gonna run all the way over to that window. And last but not least, our scientist, who's the number one reason we're here. Uh, Caleb Amari, I need you to run like the wind, sir. Just get out of here, because things are not gonna be fun for you in the very near future. Unfortunately, there's like no place I can bring him. Can he get upstairs? No. Can he get out here? Sort of. You know what? If I bet if he comes here, they won't be able to see him somehow. I could run out here, but that risks seeing something down there. So let's just come to this tile. I don't know. Whatever. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. That's the console. And that's Overwatch. Okay, here comes a massive Overwatch-a-thon, Batman. A number one! A ball shoot right through several walls of house, hit for ten! Very nice. Come, friends, come say hello. Uh-huh. That's where we are. Killjoy standing open with a basic SMG. That was kind of silly. Mitch, looks like you hit. Shelbs can't see what's going on. Looks like you hit two for three and ten with the Grays. This guy, reaction fire, 40%. We were at least in cover here. Now, all these snakes and berserkers and stuff, they're gonna do things. This guy goes in Overwatch. Naja Serpens is stunned? What? Did the berserker just sh- Oh no! Well, there goes Bernadette Bernard. Hit for 14, my favorite rebel. Because this guy just knew that he could run up to that window and crit right through it. Whoa! That snipey snake just sniped across the universe and missed somebody. I have no idea who. I'm pretty sure the berserker just crushed a snake and stunned it, though. That's re- like, Berserker's not even enraged. Why is it randomly shooting snakes? We have multiple things on Overwatch. This is extremely annoying. How do I deal with all this? Well, for number one, Ian's right here. He could 100% Shadow Strike this guy and just wipe away that insane nonsense. 100% to hit, 85% to crit, crit with center mass. Ian, wipe the nonsense away! Very good, one less overwatch, a crit for 14. We lose conceal, but who cares, we have ghost if we really want to use more conceal. Now we just need to get rid of this overwatch on the mech, which I feel like Disco Caddy is probably the ultimate... Actually, she has an 83% over there in the gunner. The gunner's gonna be kind of hard, let's increase that to 100, or 89 I guess, 88, whatever. Come on Disco Caddy, stop taking the long time. We have a 98 now on heavy gunner. Boom. Ooh. That's joyous. He's dead. Now then, how do we want to kill that other mech? Probably, I'm guessing, Mitch, right? Right, Mitch kills the mech. Nope, he can only see that mech. What about- actually, he does- Mitch has traverse fire. But if we shoot, he then can't do anything, so... Great perk. One of the best. Ooh! Paul actually has a shot through this window on the longbow, and that's all we need. 87% Paul, murder! Even with a graze, you should probably kill that guy. Yep, he's dead. Hit for 13. Very nice. Now then, Book of Eons cannot quite get close enough to flank that officer, but can get close enough to shoot this mech. Let's go. Up we come. What do we see? Mech 66. Not the best odds in the world, but whatever. Book of Eons don't care. Well, I guess maybe this is the first time for everything. Everything's not on Overwatch. Mitch obviously can't use his Traverse Fire, so let's move up. Let's kill the gunner. 58%? Really? Okay, whatever. Who cares? It's dead. You want some more? Now, we gotta make, uh, make sure we're not exposed to those snipey snakes. Mitch is getting pretty close there to the squad site, but if we kill them all, we don't have to worry about it. The shelves can probably handle the mech. Okay. It, right? That's good. 
But now what we really need to do is get Book of Eons. Oh, Book of Eons already already did stuff. Alright, let's just move up with Shelves then. We'll move up with Killjoy. And then for the Rebels, I have no idea. Like, we're just gonna have to hunker down upstairs and pray they can somehow manage to survive. There's still a lot more stuff on this map. Aubrey really needs to go upstairs with everyone else. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, is there a strategy right now for what I'm doing? Not really. Overwatch, Overwatch. Uh, we'll just, I guess, move Max up a little bit, get him closer. And Overwatch. Okay, so far so good. There's gotta be a pod over here. There has to be. Naja Serpens is no longer stunned. Oh, there's a pod! I guess I was wrong. Maybe all the pods are over here. That's, uh, I think 12 enemies total that I know of, and there's only 18 or so maximum. No idea who these rebels are, but it looks like they both hit a drone on Overwatch. There's another pod. That's everything, and that's also an Arkham. Okay, how am I gonna deal with this? Hopefully they don't get too many reaction shots, because we're all exposed. Killjoy, swing and a miss. This one overwatches. Here comes a mech running up. Oh, yeah, right, right! That mech, for God's sake! That frigging mech. Why am I even here? <laughs> like, why did I do this mission? I knew! Uh, okay. Reaction shot, boom! One less rebel. Archon, a shoot a Killjoy, hit for a frigging 10, because why not? You know what? I honestly feel like the smartest thing to do with this mission is to never do it, because it's a waste of time. It's fun, but it's a waste of time. Like, you lose every time, regardless, so why even try? Anyway, up to the roof, a boom. Disco Caddy, a grapple. It's like, I'm, I'm coming here to save rebels and save the data tap, and every time, all I do is lose all the rebels, lose the data tap, and take wounds. So, it's probably not the smartest thing for me, I don't think. What do I want to shoot? I don't really care, I've lost interest 100%. Uh, shoot the mech, Disco Caddy from Elevation. Yep, it's dead. Now then, Overwatch is removed, so how can we kill all these things? Well, number one, Ian does have the ability to flank things for a lot of damage. Can we get in here and shoot through the door? No, we can't really flank anything. I could flank the shield better. Why are they even giving me control of these rebels? Like, I don't care about these guys. They're not gonna do anything but die. And they're both flanked, so... Alright, let's move out here with Toby Taylor. We'll get, like, a proximity bonus against the drone. We'll take a 54% with a laser gun against the, you know... Whatever this is, hunter drone. We hit, hit for something. Four, it looks like. And, um, yeah. Kateri Gibson, why don't you move to the same place, make it easier for them to grenade you next turn. And a 55% drone. Can all rebels and scientists kill one drone? Answer, amazingly, yes. Somehow they all hit every single one of them. Now then, how the heck do I kill Archon? I know. Let's grab Mitch. and uh, Not Mitch. Let's grab Max. We'll run and gun. We're gonna run and gun right up as close as we can get to this Archon. And we're gonna see what our odds of hitting it is. Our odds of hitting it is 67%. Really. That's our odds of hitting it. And if we rapid fire... I uh, forgot. Okay, 52% Max! Okay, you hit. Very good. Do it again. Swing and a miss. Yep. Epic dodge there by Archon. Wow, Max critically hit the first shot for uh, 22, it looks like. Okay. That's that's quite the shot. Killjoy is almost dead, it would seem. Hey, we can get elevation here with Shelbs if we wanted to. Where could we go to do it? Up here? But then, what would we even shoot? I could go up here. Would we have line of sight? Sure, let's do that. Shelbs, boom. I think everything's active. Okay, we're up here, 84% Arakan, bye. It's dead, it has to be dead. And now then, Shelves has no other additional shot from that spot, but we can move up, that's a commando, I think. Fascinating, position. we can move up here with Ian. We have a 68 on the shield better, that's not bad, we do have AP ammo, let's take it. Ian, holy bananas, does he ever hit hard? What an incredible shinobi. He didn't hit that hard at that time though, but normally he hits very hard. What the heck do we do with Killjoy? I guess we could just pop the shield better, that probably makes sense. 
meaning that Mitch needs to move up someplace where he can get line of sight. It looks like right here, very good. And then let's uh, demolish that commando's cover. 100% boom. Hopefully it demolishes the tree. Yep, it does. Very good. It didn't demolish the picnic table. I've always wondered about that. If you have cover from, or uh, shots from multiple angles, what happens? And the answer is, I don't know, but let's go up here with Paul now. And we can probably... 62%, huh? And if we chain shot... It's a 57. Okay, how about this then? Book of Eons, let's run and gun. Let's get really close to this commando. And maybe chain shot from immediate proximity. Nope, what happened to your free reload thing? I guess I lost it? Okay, fine. 59% then. Looks good. Take it. Commando is wounded for three. All right then. Well, if he's gonna be super annoying, he's got 12 HP. Oh, he had evasion. That's what it was all about. So what that means now is I can chain shot him 61. Or I could just shoot him normally. Nah, I probably need to chain shot him. And Paul kills him on the first shot. Uh, meanwhile, let's move up here with Killjoy. And we're going to just combat protocol away this clown. Or, what is the hack, actually? Reflexes, squad reflexes. Squad reflexes is interesting. But no one else could kill that guy except Killjoy right now. And Killjoy cannot be allowed to die, so we're going to have to combat protocol. I'm suddenly realizing that they have a bunch of mechs, and those mechs can probably shoot missiles across the universe, so let's not leave shelves up on the ceiling. Where she can just die a horrific death, we'll drop her down. Okay, here goes my rebels. This mech's just gonna charge in and crit one in the face, that'll be the third one it kills. A boom! <laughs> uh-huh. So what they're doing, uh, they're uh, doing exactly what I would think they would do. Now we wait for four hours while these guys animate in 1.5 speed because we know the result of what's gonna happen here. Like, we know what's happening. Incoming fire. Uh, somehow, actually, we didn't already die? That's weird. Okay, well in that case, is anything over here on Overwatch? Looks like, not that I know of, nobody's really in concealment. I'm really wondering how far I can lob grenades here with Book of Eons. Answer, probably nowhere near enough, but I could command Book of Eons to run like a thousand miles away up to this roof. That thing's on Overwatch. We could throw some grenades over there or something. I'm not sure how any of that's going to work, really. What can we do with shelves from this tile? Answer, uh, nothing. Can we hit anyone from anywhere, really? Answer, I don't think so. Right, Disco Caddy, what can you do? 81 on a shield batter, or 73 on a trooper? Well, this doesn't really help much because it has a shield. Max already used run and gun. Yeah. I don't know, whatever, Disco Caddy, 81% to shield batter. Holy wow. Didn't expect that. There goes the shield batter, critically hit from Disco Caddy, cross map, through armor, through shield, through face. Uh, wow, that's incredible. Okay, now then, everyone's a million miles away, here's what we need to do. We need to get sort of closer to them. Let's start out by doing this, we'll hack this thing, we'll go for the squad reflexes with Killjoy. Squad dodge increased by 33% for two turns, a boom. We have failsafe. I don't know why it took so long, but whatever, it's done. Killjoy, like, 98%. Fantastic. I've never actually done one of these squad-wide things. We've got access. So everyone now has tons of dodge. And for whatever reason, the gremlin's just sitting there doing nothing for many, t many turns. What can, um, missile? Oh, don't forget there's another snake someplace, I think. The mech can missile. What's even a smart thing to do here? Ian can get on the roof up here. 
where he can literally see no one. He could get on the roof here where he could see no one. This tile he could see, but nowhere else. Looks like I don't have any option to really do anything besides dash the entire squad. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Max, a dash up. Uh, I guess Ian can dash up there. Okay, we'll come back to you later, friend. Book of Eons, I really, really don't know. Like, get some high cover someplace over there. Looks good. I think Killjoy kind of needs to stay back here. Let's dash up with shelves. The only thing I'm worried about really is all those the, the missiles coming down and raining terror. We'll bring Mitch up here. What can we do about these missiles? Well, actually, we could just run away. Okay, Toby, run! Just straight out, straight out the wall. Oh, nice, you found a snake. That's the same thing I got crushed by the Berserker. You know what? Let's throw a grenade on its head. Like, this is not gonna be the best play in the world, but whatever. Hit the snake for three. I mean, what the heck else are we really gonna do? I'm kind of worried Killjoy's just gonna die from a micro-missile from across the map. Like, that's kind of what I feel like is gonna happen. For no reason. I guess we may as well conceal now with Ian. It doesn't hurt to do it. And then let's move out here. And then last but not least, I guess we'll dash up here with Paul. Okay, so everyone's just running this whole turn. Here comes the mech. As long as it doesn't micro-missile the whole squad. Holy, there goes the Berserker. I don't know what he's up. Oh, he went outside somehow. Here comes this guy. He can't get a good shot on Toby. This guy's shooting the relay finally. Six HP. Here comes another trooper. He's out back. I'm watching the Overwatches as well. Okay, there's one in the back. Gotta remember that. Oh, Toby, do a battle roll! Wow. Oh, no. Actually, the snake shot through Toby's skull, not hurting him, and hit the relay for nine. This snake double moves in an epic display of unbelievable stupidity. No one manages to accomplish anything on the enemy team. Wow. That's just incredible. Okay. All right, well, here's a fun thing I just came up with. I'd used Paul's free reload. Let's use Killjoy now to probably heal herself so she doesn't die a horrific death. Easy now, soldier. And then we're gonna pop command on Paul as soon as she's done. There we go. Uh, with this in mind, I'm gonna take Paul now and I'm gonna dash up to this window here. Actually, no, I could dash. I don't know where the extent of the movement range is. Well, my original plan was to come up to this window anyway, so let's do that. There goes two movements, who cares? We're gonna use the last action now to saturation fire the mech. And I was hoping to hit the berserker and the snake, and it looks like I miscalculated slightly, and I can't actually- I, No, I can't hit the snake. Yep, there we go. Okay, we'll hit the berserker, we'll hit the snake, and we'll knock out that wall while we're at it. Go, Paul. And we won't actually hit the relay. Did I hit- did I say berserker? I meant hit the mech. I think I said Berserker like six times. Well, that was pretty much, all in all, the worst thing ever. <laughs> so the Berserker is going to be kind of a huge... Actually, I could just leave it alone and it won't do anything. So from where I am, maybe the thing that makes the most sense is to find a spot where I could shoot a few more people. Like, I can come up here with shelves and get a flank shot on that guy way in the back who's in Overwatch, and the Berserker I don't think will be able to actually hit shelves. So let's do this, yeah, boom, okay. up we go, straight through the window, don't care. And nope, we don't want to shoot the mech, we don't want to hit this stupid Naja, we do want to hit that Advanced Officer 72. I thought, I could have sworn the thing said I had a line of sight on this guy. But apparently it was wrong again. So maybe Disco Caddy now can move to some place so we can get line of sight on any of these guys. Can't, can't even, I have no idea. But she's not very useful where she is. Let's move her up. See if we can hollow target anything. I doubt it. Uh, nope, we certainly can't. Okay, let's keep moving up then. Now then, back to shelves. Since we only have a few options here, the officer's probably less important than this Naja. Let's take it out. Shelves. Nice. Absolutely executed. 
Now, I'm not too worried about that Muton, or the Berserker, rather. But I do want to deal with this officer some way, other than just leaving him there. So let's see if Mitch can move up someplace and suppress him. Answer. Nope. In fact, Mitch can go nowhere of any use whatsoever that he can even hit anything. What about upstairs? Nope. What about out here? Nope. What about this window? Yep, okay. Well, at the very least, Mitch can move out here and maybe 73% this mech. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Paul's a little jealous looking through the window. And Mitch hits the mech for three. Okay. Well, let's move up here with Ian. We see nothing. We're gonna have to get somewhere very soon. So let's try to get like... How can I get up this thing? The mech's there. Let's kill the mech and I can go right past the mech. So who can kill the mech? Obviously, Max. Max is the ultimate mech murderer. Let's bring him out. He'll be fine from here. A close proximity. A murder mech, Max. A murder a mech. 48% though? Who cares? It's dead. Now then, I can get up the stairs with Ian if I so chose over here. Or... Go through this gate, but that's gonna break concealment. That's real annoying. I kinda feel like Book of Venus should come out here to this tree. Okay, now that we're here, let's see what we can do. We can throw a grenade down here in the Berserker. That's not gonna be very useful. Uh, what we could do, however... ...is completely run away here. Just a hundred percent run away. A boom with Toby. Get away from the Berserker. The Berserker, I think, will have the range to get there, but... Uh, not if we use Book of Eons to flashbang Berserker and Snake. That'll lower its movement just enough that it won't, I think, be able to kill Toby. We still have that officer, though. I don't like leaving him alone. Uh, and this leaves just Ian. Who, I think, he's in concealment. Let's just bring him up on the roof. And then next turn, he can get in there and flank something. Looks like there's only 16 enemies total, and I can see all four of them. Actually, the one in the back seems to have disappeared. Here comes the officer. He single moves. And he's gonna shoot the relay for six. That's fine. This guy moves up. He's going to shoot at max. Hit for one. That's very annoying with the UFO hunt. Berserker's flashbanged. He's probably gonna have to dash down here. That was his whole turn. Snake flashbang, red fog, shoots 100% relay because, you know... Wait. Did this... How did the snake miss? I thought everyone had a 100% chance to hit relays. There's reinforcements now? Since when are there reinforcements on this? Am I doing a data tap? I am. I don't ever remember there being reinforcements on a data tap. Do I need to evac from this? I don't, um, no, I think I've always killed everything and that's been how I win them. Very strange. All right, let's bring Desko Caddy just up generally anywhere. Hopefully she can get line of sight and hollow target something. Uh, yep, actually right out here she could hollow target something. Don't know where, don't know what, but looks like we can do it. All right, let's just use the regular hollow target and it's gonna be advanced officer. All right, then. Max, I think, needs to reload. He doesn't... Uh, actually, no, he doesn't have to reload. But he couldn't rapid fire, which is unfortunate. How the heck am I going to kill that Berserker? I think Shelves is really the best chance to kill it. 100% Berserker, Shelves. Very good. Hit for 11, a free reload. Hit it again. 100%. Okay, hit for eight. This is like very, very, very not f fantastic. I guess we can bring Mitch up here for some reason. And from here we can shoot the Berserker 98% with Elevation Mitch. Yep, that's a lot better than that uh, ye old laser cannon. It's a dead. 
Uh, just like that. Now, three things remain. How do we kill them? Ooh, Paul has a 42 and he has both actions. Let's free reload and 100% hail of bullets this elite trooper. That was a pretty cool shot with all the drywall in the background and such. So in this case, I think the thing that makes the most sense... We could actually... yeah, we can come down... Ooh, I could kill Snake from here. Or I could blow up Barrel. Let's do this. Let's come down here with Ian. Understood. We're not gonna lose his concealment. We are gonna get a flank on this trooper. 100% to crit, 100% to hit. 9 to 13, I think that's uh, plus 6. So that means a minimum we're gonna hit this guy for all his health. Ian Murder! Holy freaking truck-like exterminator. That guy's insane. Okay, give me Max now. We're gonna go a run and gun. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna greet this guy cordially. We're gonna get right next to his face. Uh, Max only has the one ammo left, but you know what? That's all that Max needs is the one ammo left. 84%. Just shut him down, Max. I wonder if there's always been reinforcements on these missions that I've just never noticed because I've always killed everything within like one second. Uh, and then with Book of Eons, we could just grenade this guy to death. Can I get him? Nope, I'm gonna have to move up. That's fine. We'll move up. We'll throw a grenade out. We have plenty. Killjoy can always like airdrop. Uh, and boom, snake dead. And there goes the loot. Uh, and somehow Ta okay. Toby Taylor survived this unbelievable epic <laughs> onslaught. Got it covered. <laughs> what? Let's buy a little bit of time here. Let's move Killjoy up to the rest of the squad. And then let's jam these reinforcements. That way we can get on the roof, we can reload, we can get on Overwatch, uh, we can grab the loot, we can do stuff like that. So we reload with Max. We gotta grab at least this one piece of loot there. Illyrium core, okay. I have the asset. And then Disco Caddy, let's get up on the elevation. And it probably makes sense, I guess. You can't overwatch, so let's steady. And then pretty much everyone else. The higher we are, the better. Let's just get up on the ceiling. All around. Wow, Killjoy is just like roof climber. Extraordinaire. Uh, Mitch, I guess, reload. Uh, yeah, no place you can really go. Overwatch. Overwatch with Paul. Killjoy, I don't know. Reload. Shelves. Can you get on any roofs? Doesn't look like it. Let's go out here towards the open. I don't know where these things are gonna drop in or what their deal is. Who cares? Ian getting the ceiling. Uh, Toby, you stay put because that tree has served you well. Uh, shelves, overwatch. Book of Eons, reload, overwatch. Or, yeah, let's overwatch. Okay. And we overwatch. Not bad. Here comes some reinforcements for some reason. I guess this is a thing. Looks like four guys, and they're dropping in. I can't really tell where. Where the heck is this? Am I gonna have any shots on these guys at all? Because I don't... Oh, this is right actually near the, the relay. Okay, yeah, we'll get some shots for sure. Do not steal that car! It uh, looks like Book of Eons swinging a hit. Can't even tell Paul. Don't know. Oh, poor Toby. He's got such a harrowing experience. He can't blame him. The shelves swinging a Mitch. Uh, swinging a Mitch. <laughs> shelves swinging a Mitch. Oh, good lord, that was a lot of actions in a very short period of time. Okay, who dies how and why? Welp, a numero uno, a max. Out you come. Actually, you know what? These guys in the back are gonna be the harder ones to kill, and Killjoy doesn't have a whole lot of functional purpose. So why don't we do this? Let's command Max. Yep, boom. Come on, Max. That was kind of a silly move I made right there, but let's do this. Let's run out here. This guy's gonna be a huge, huge, huge pain. Let's get right in his face, and let me guess, 62%. Of course. Of course. Uh, how about Disco Caddy cross map? Do you see anything? No. You know what? I want to get you in a place where either you can shoot, or you can hollow target, or you can both. Up you go. You see a bunch of stuff. What can we rapid target? This guy and that guy, but not the one that I want to actually hit, of course. So we'll do this. 
Wow, Disco Caddy is 100%. Oh, because she's steadied? Is that right? Yeah, so you can grapple and... Oh my god. Disco Caddy, though. Really? 100% officer on roof after grapple through steady. Yep. I guess at this point, we're just going to have to risk Max uh, taking a rapid fire 62 in Sergeant. Boom! He's a dead. What's next? Ooh, I know what's next. A Shelbs. Would you do the honors of... A both. A barrels. 25, though. All right, well, I win, but, um, yeah, was it worth the effort, though? Taking two wounds and all I saved was one rebel. I guess I still have the ability to scan for missions, but I don't need it because I already have the Liberation 3 being infiltrated right now. So those two wounds might cost me the game when I go to do the uh, HQ defense. We'll find out in the very near future. We did get a promotion though with Disco Caddy, that's a very nice. I'm gonna go Hunter's Instinct, good lord, if she can hit as hard as she's been hitting, imagine how much more hard she'll hit now. That was a lot of words, I don't know what they meant, but 21 days for Killjoy, 4 days for Max, that's not bad. And also Ian, another promotion. I think Ian is bugged, which by the way I think we have fixed, but I don't have the, the fix for it, where the market soldiers level way too fast. Because he's gone on three missions and he's already a yeah, gunner, gunnery sergeant, which is insane. What do I want to do with Ian, though? I definitely probably want to go implacable because he's going to get kills like every turn. However, attack sense is incredibly powerful. Then again, he should never be in a position where he's going to get shot at. Let's go implacable. Boom. Advanced focus. I can build that for $5. Like, I don't want to loot it. Thanks, though. And Killjoy now has reduced will. Okay. Well, there's a couple things I needed to do. Number one... Oh, wait. Okay, like I was saying, number one, what do I want to... What is this thing? This is the supply raid. I'm not doing that. I do have the UFO hunting me. We're going to have a Haven or Avenger defense. I would love to do this troop column. Like, it's in a place that I, <clears throat> that I wanted to, to liberate. Uh, however, it's also strength six. Bringing that down to five would be fantastic, but I really really do not feel like I have the barracks available. I guess, however, all the wounded people from Wade's Wise and Wazox can be deployed on the Avenger defense. There is that, but if I were to send everyone else out, I'm gonna have nobody available for the Avenger defense. And it's not even a guaranteed thing, like the UFO might fail to intercept. But yeah, I guess I can deal with one extra troop column existing for now. Uh, what I can't deal with, though, is this uh, facility. We gotta infiltrate that. Where are the shinobis? It looks like Varnecht and Scruffy Look are both busy infiltrating. So when they're both done, we finish. Okay. In this case, I feel as though I must continue towards the black site. We're going to lose the game if I don't make contact over here, which I need to build a facility to do, which costs money. Which I don't have, but I can actually start producing some right now. We have enough people here. Let's just put everyone on supply again like I used to. It's kind of, why can't I just select them all, actually? Ugh. Okay, entire Haven on supply. Connor, no reason for you to be here. Sure, there's probably some faceless. Who cares? We need an engineer. Uh, unfortunately, I can't pull one out. So, I guess it does make some sense, then, to leave Connor in there for now. I don't know how the heck he'll manage to deal with the face. I guess he could just expose it and run away. But that's going to give us at least some income now. 337, not very much. Let's head off to the black market really quick, Avengers see what we can sell. Viper Corpse Sectopod Wreck, yep. Let me, let me, actually it is $98, but that's not happening. I don't care about Vipers, let's sell them all. And we do have some troopers, we'll sell a bunch of them. I'm, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to live off of selling Illyrium cores and never actually use them to make anything because I'm out of money. 
Apparently I have nine mutons again. I would love to turn those into new armor plating, but I don't have the money. I need about $200. Let's drum it up. Boom, it's done. Okay, and now I can come down here and I can upgrade the power relay as such. $50. It says nine, but because I think the power relay was built on a condo, it's only going to give me two. That is correct. It did only do that. Let's pull the workshop gremlin, gremlin out of there and we'll put it on the power relay because we're going to need it. Very good. That gives us just enough power now to build down here a second resistance comm. $125. I actually thought it was $150, but that's good. Now, unfortunately, I am uh, I guess I could upgrade the workshop. Put someone in it and then put one person down here, but then I'd be losing something on the resistance comm. So I'm short an engineer. It really sucks that I lost an engineer a long time ago uh, in that invasion because I really need one right now. Oh well. Market is open. Let's sell a few more things while I'm here because I'm going to have those uh, faceless things in the very near future. I don't know what exactly. I'm gonna, I don't know. More troopers. Um, another berserker. Sure. Iron skin. I hate iron skin. Do I need mag rifles anymore? Not really. Do I need mag cannons? No, I have the good ones. Plus we just lost a gunner. Advanced focus, who cares? And we'll sell a couple hair triggers because they're pretty much useless. $76, that should give me enough to make some chameleon suits. Uh, will it be enough though? Let's try to drum up a hundred. I don't know, whatever. Motor lyrium course, fine. Done. Let's get out of here. Course for the Western US precinct. Whoa, there goes the UFO! That looked foreboding. Extract VIP uh, Sergeant Yuki Shina. Light moderate, three days, five hours. You know, oh, that's liberation though. Damn it. How long till I have on Varnacht here? Nine hours. And this was also a very important mission. I think I intended to, to boost this one. Uh, I keep getting these missions where I need to send my shinobis out. Like, I want to do that one. And I also want to do this one. I can probably do them both, but then when am I ever going to get to infiltrating that place? Well, let's find out. I'll scan for nine hours. Faceless thing is done. That makes we, means we can make the chameleon suits, which is really what I want. I guess I'll do... Hey, sectopod breakdown. Is that... Breakdown is not, like, disassemble. Render, right? Let's do that. Let's, um... From what I've been told... Okay. Tigan, really? And then also, let's go to the Proving Ground for a second. How much is the Chameleon Suits? They are one Faceless Corpse, 20 Supply, 30 Supplies, one Elyrium Core. Let's do that. 18 days, though. Uh, unfortunately, nothing I can do about it until I can upgrade the workshop because all the engineers are busy. I got one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're all busy. Whoops. Okay, I guess we scan for a few more hours. This is probably the- wait, no. Oh, that was till 100%. I have all the time in the world to be able to do this then. I see. Well, unfortunately, I guess we're not going to go to rescue, rescue Yuki Shina because we just don't have any shinobis right now. Oh, well. What can you do? Oh, it's a rendezvous! Let's check out who this is. This is going to- Mosi Jolo! Okay. He was supposed to be, his character is supposed to be overwritten by someone who I don't have the character yet. Can I overwrite his, char his character details while he's on a mission? Maybe. I don't know, I'll find out in the next episode. I'm actually looking forward to this. It's gonna be a rendezvous with potentially some people instead of like my typical one or two people. Then again, who knows, it could be only three. Still, three is better than what I have been doing them with. Okay, so when's we returning? It'll be Rendezvous, uh, brought to you by I don't know who. Also, Operation Swamp Beast. I could have sworn I've seen that before for another Rendezvous. But regardless, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Come on, Disco Gaddy. Stop taking the long time. We have a 98 now on Heavy Gunner. Boom. Oh. That's joyous. He's dead. I don't think. What do I want to shoot? I don't really care. I've lost interest 100%. Uh, shoot the mech. Disco Caddy from Elevation. Yep, it's dead. I don't know. Whatever. Disco Caddy, 81% to shield better. 
Holy wow. Didn't expect that. There goes the shield batter, critically hit from Disco Gaddy, cross map, through armor, through shield, through face. Uh, wow, that's incredible. Disco okay. Gaddy, though. Really? 100% officer on roof after grapple, through steady, yep. 100% to crit, 100% to hit. 9 to 13, I think that's oh, plus 6. So that means a minimum we're gonna hit this guy for all his health. Ian Murder! Holy freaking truck-like exterminator. That guy's insane. 